Coach Josh here from Colossus Fitness and today I'm going to be covering how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time and yes this is possible and yes I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to make this happen. So it seems controversial because it's a little bit of an oxymoron to be building muscle and losing fat because generally to build muscle we want to be in a surplus, we want to be supplying ourselves with extra nutrients and creating stimulus to build new muscle. To lose fat we want to be in a deficit so we can remove, remove unwanted fat and actually see change. So when we're saying build muscle and lose fat, we need to be able to do both of these things at the same time. And I'm sure you've heard that phrase, jack of all trades, master of none. That is gonna apply here. So if you're looking to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, you're not gonna get the same amount of muscular development as someone who's in a hard bulk is. You're not gonna lose as much fat as someone who's doing a dedicated cut. But if you're a newer lifter or even someone who hasn't been optimizing what they do, I'm an online fitness coach and I help people do this all the time. It's not uncommon for in their first 90 days people to lose 20 pounds of unwanted fat and gain 5 to 10 pounds of new muscle. And that's because I approach every pillar of this at a higher level. So now that we know that we can do this, it's a matter of how and how do I make this happen for people? Well, I like to start with training first. Chances are you are under training. It's easy to get in this camp of maybe I'm over training, maybe I'm doing too much, but science has continually shown more volume leads to more results. The downside of pushing too much volume is you can pr produce injury and you can actually hurt yourself there. So it's about doing this in a balanced and measured approach. So when someone signs up with me for online coaching with the goal of losing fat and building muscle at the same time, I start with their physique. When I can actually look at your physique, I can see what your strengths are and your weaknesses. And if you're like most people, you're probably training the muscles you like really hard, you're probably training the movements you like really hard, and you're probably neglecting things that are actually gonna be big movers for you. So doing the big three, bench squat, deadlift, and doing them hard, really truly pushing yourself with a reasonable amount of volume, actually hitting legs with an increased frequency, by naturally starting to approach these things and improving the quality of your routine using some strategies like daily underlying periodization, progressive overload, and really just managing volume and time in general. So really adjusting this and really saying, how can I also increase my frequency of the major muscle groups that actually matter? It's not uncommon for people to train biceps three times a week. It's very rare for someone to train legs three times a week. And if they do, they're probably elite, or their girl who just really wants to develop their legs. But by focusing on this and focusing on the major movers and really saying what movements are gonna produce the most amount of muscular stimulus to actually make sure I am putting on new muscle, you're gonna be giving yourself that edge right off the bat to put on more muscle. And I've proven this. We've done an entire powerlifting meet in the past in our shredded strength series where we actually shred it down, we really challenge our volume, we really push ourselves in the gym to actually make this happen. And we gain strength and muscle while losing fat and leaning out quite substantially, as you can see here. Now this doesn't come without its cost. It's gonna be harder. And because you're gonna be hungrier, and ideally we're gonna be having less food, so we're gonna be eating at maintenance or just below it, it's gonna be harder for us to actually put on more muscle and strength and this is where your food quality and diet matter more than ever. If you're looking to do this and you're really looking to challenge what you do in the gym, it's really imperative that you are on top of your nutrition. And the biggest thing I'll recommend off the bat is getting adequate protein intake. You wanna be at about a gram per body weight. This is a great place to start. This is a very generalized rule. You can go a little bit more to cover your bases depending on protein sources. And then some people would argue you don't actually need that much and you go a little bit less. And we can get way in the weeds with this. I've made videos on adequate protein intake in the past that I can link you to if you want a deep understanding of this. But for now, I'd really recommend if your goal is to gain muscle and lose fat, to be at one gram of protein per body weight and to be tracking your food every single day. Within this, you know I'm a big advocate of 80-20, so 80% whole healthy foods, 20% fun foods. But if you're doing this, you're gonna really want to ramp up the quality of your foods because you're gonna wanna be getting the most amount of nutrients, the most amount of fiber, and the most amount of satiety from this food so you can have energy to perform in these hard workouts. Now with this, our training and our nutrition isn't even that relevant if our recovery is garbage. It's just not gonna happen. You're gonna get injured, you're gonna be beat down, your recovery's gonna, your training's gonna suck. So it's really imperative while you have this goal and we're optimizing for these other two factors, we do spend the time to recover. And most often this is just gonna be achieved through sleep and load management. If I'm really focusing, fixated on this, of losing fat, gaining muscle, maybe I'll pull back from some other things. You don't really need to be doing any excess cardio. We just wanna be doing a manageable amount to make sure we are actually losing unwanted fat, but you'll achieve this by being the deficit and increasing your training load anyways, because you will be burning more calories. So I know it seems like there's a lot of moving parts, but to break it down quite simply in conclusion, you're gonna to wanna to train harder and train smarter. This is the biggest thing. You want a routine made for you, 
that's periodized, that has progressive overload, that has impactful movements to address your strengths or weaknesses, as well as some inconsistencies in your physique. Past this, you wanna have adequate nutrition, you wanna be eating at maintenance or just below it, getting adequate protein intake at one gram per body weight, and then finally, you wanna make sure you're resting and recovering with the best possible intention. We can't expect to be perfect here, but this is where you need to be dialed in. You're trying to win on all fronts, so there isn't as much room for error, and by optimizing for these things, you can absolutely get this done. And if you're still feeling lost, you're like, I don't know if I'll have the accountability to see this through, let me help you. I've helped hundreds of people do exactly this. If you wanna gain muscle and lose fat at the same time, this is my specialty. I'm here to help you and make that happen and really optimize your physique. And you can apply for my coaching down below in the first link. If this helped you, please smash like and let me know which comment you preferred the most today. Any questions you have or any discussion, I will be in those comments down with you and it really means the world. So thank you so much for tuning in today. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.